Hey you guys, Erica here with Success with HCG. Today is day three of my HCG journey. I am officially on the very low calorie portion of the diet where I am now today eating 500 calories. Uh, yesterday I ate a lot. And this morning when I woke up, my stomach was killing me. <laughs> it was killing me so much. And when I got on the scale, it definitely showed me that I ate because I gained one pound. So yesterday I weighed 200.7. Today I weigh 201.7. So for the two days of me loading, I gained a pound. Now, like I said before, I'm not a big gainer when it comes to loading. I don't know why that is. I'm just not. So, you know, I wasn't expecting a huge number uh, when it came to me loading. However, yesterday, yeah, I really, really, really ate. Um, oh, on my, um, on my blog, and I post the link at the bottom, I have my before pictures. And I'm going to let you guys know what my, um, what my measurements are. And... Look, I'm going to let y'all know right now, the before pictures are not pretty. However, I know how this goes, you know. I know, like, it is so important to have those pictures. Maybe you don't want to post it for everyone to see. Me, personally, I don't really care, you know. I don't mind um, people seeing me because, look, this is, this is what a person who... Um, you know, a, a real person looks like, you know? And I know when I first started doing HCG, I was looking for people who actually put pictures of themselves on there. You know, not just, uh, I didn't mind hearing, you know, results, but I also wanted to see the results. So I'm a big visual person, and I know there are people out there who are probably the same way. Um, and also, it holds me accountable, you know? I know now those pictures are of me are out there. And um, if you have been watching my journey from when I started back in 2015, and I did the same exact thing. I put my before pictures. I did basically a slideshow. Um, I did my before pictures and I did my after pictures. And oh my gosh, the difference. So if you're just now starting doing HCG, I'm telling you, the best thing you could do for yourself is to take those pictures. And also take your measurements because... After all, it is called pounds and inches. You know, you're going to lose the weight, but it's also you're going to lose a lot of inches. So here are my measurements. And I don't know if it's the cor correct term terminology, but you guys are going to get the gist of what I'm saying with it. Okay, so for my neck, 14.5 inches. So yeah, I have quite a bit of neck. <laughs> Um, my, the fuller part of my chest, 40.6 inches. My left arm is 14 inches. My right arm is 14.5. So I guess I have either a little bit more muscle, a little bit more fat. I prefer to say I have a little bit more muscle. So whatever. Okay. Underneath the breast, right underneath, 37 inches. The fuller part of my waist, and I mean like the part that really comes out, and you'll see it on my before picture, 46 inches. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the tech, like I said, I don't know what the technical term of the lower part of the abdomen is called. I call it a fupa. If you don't know what fupa means, look it up. I'm not saying it. <laughs> but that portion, the lower part of the abdomen, 45.5 inches. The fuller part of my hips is 51 inches. Yes, I got a lot of booty. Thighs. Now, this kind of um, surprised me because, uh, gosh, my thighs got pretty big. Um, my right thigh is a 30 and my left thigh is a 29.5. And my calves, I did my calves. Normally, I don't have big calves. But I noticed over the summer when I tried to buy those gladiator shoes, yeah, it was not working for me at all. So I, that's when I really knew I was like, you know, oh gosh, I, now I have, you know, I have big calves now. 
uh yeah but anyways my calves my right one's a 16 and my left one is a 15 so they're an inch different I don't know if I'm just really like I don't know maybe I have a limp or something I don't know but yeah there's an inch difference with that so those are my measurements and I have my book this time around and I I said it the last time too I kind of kept notes but I'm keeping notes of everything I do I'm keeping notes on what I'm eating what time I go to sleep how much water I'm drinking when I'm drinking my water like this book is going to be coming with me all the time um because it's just good to know you know it's good to know so uh other than that I don't have anything else to really say right now I'm doing pretty good I've uh, been drinking a lot of water, have not eaten anything yet, not really hungry. I had some tea earlier. I've been drinking, I don't know if you guys heard of this tea called Fit Tea, but um, I had it before and it tastes really good. I am one of those people who like to drink, if I drink tea, I don't like to put anything in it. Um, so I can really, and I don't know, some of the teas, you know, I can deal with, but this tea is pretty good, in my opinion, anyways. It has a little bit of a spicy taste to it. So I drank some of that today. I had, um, I can't even tell you exactly how much water I had. Um, let me see. Let me, ha, let me look at my book. Okay, so far I've had six, six bottles of water. So I've had about 42 ounces so far. Is that right? No, I'm lying. 16, 6, 6, 3. Oh, 90, 96 ounces of water. Woo woo. So I'm almost there. Um, my goal is about 120, about 120 ounces of water. I'm not sure how much a gallon is. Is it 101? I don't know, something like that. But anyways, um, my goal is about 120 ounces of water so I'm at 96 right now so pretty good not hungry probably going to eat within the next hour and a half before my kids get home uh, I'm sticking pretty much with uh oh I had someone ask me am I doing mop or pop uh I'm I have to say I'm doing mop and the reason why I say that is because I am not having no sugar no carbs I'm not very picky on the type of meats I'm eating, although I'm going to be sticking with chicken and turkey, like making little turkey balls. Occasionally, I'll do steak. I do very well with eating steak. I really do. I have really good losses with steak, I noticed from the last time. Um, and then as far as vegetables are concerned, broccoli, green beans. I love spinach, so spinach will be another one. I ordered these things in Amazon. They're like these little portion uh, containers. Because the one thing with me, I can cook all this stuff. But if I have to sit and put it on a plate and stuff, I'm not going to eat it. So the easier it is for me, the better. So I ordered them. They should be coming in today where I can just put all of my lunches and my dinners in these portion things. Take them out, heat them up, eat them, put them in the sink. And then at night, do the same, you know, just pretty much have it through the week doing that. So I ordered, I think, about 18 of them. That's a lot, I know. But, uh, yeah, so I could just rotate. And sometimes they just, like, start melting or getting little stains. And I don't know, I'm a little anal about that stuff. So I ordered that. There's something else I ordered, too, that should be coming in tomorrow. I can't remember what it is. It's a sauce that I heard a couple of people talk about. I can't remember the name of it. I ordered it. I want to say I ordered it about a week and a half ago. It should be coming tomorrow. I don't have my phone on me. Otherwise, I'd let you guys know what it is. But tomorrow, hopefully, it'll be... No. I think it's supposed to be coming in today. I had to go check my mailbox. But if it did come in tomorrow, I'll show you what it is. As well as I'll show you guys my little portion things I got from Amazon. And I'll also show you... I don't know if you've heard of the Fit Tea. But I'll show that to you too. If anyone is wondering what it is okay so i'm at nine minutes i'll go ahead and end it there you guys know i ramble sorry apologize it's just me um until next time you guys i will talk with you later